Korean drama Fate Love You. I love the Taiwanese version of this. Like, I absolutely love, 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 adore, love it, want to watch more of it. I actually watched it in the past year for like the fourth or fifth time on repeat because I like it so much. Uh, because I like the whole artistic element that is thrown into it. Uh, but, so this person has their top 10 Taiwanese dramas. So I'm going to look at them all and see if I agree. Faded to Love You. Definitely agree that it should be in the top three. Arun's Concerto. Also an amazing drama. Should be number one. Uh, then Kiss Again. Yep. Yep, that's down. That's up there. Down with Love. No. No. Didn't win it me over. Devil Beside You. Yes! Did win me over. Love it. Have seen it like eight times. Made a whole video about it. It started with a kiss. Again. Fantastic. Hi, my sweetheart. Fun. Quirky off the wall a bit in your face. But it's okay. It's not bad. Skippy. Super fun. Meteor Garden. Yeah. I like this person's list. I can agree with everything but down with love. I kind of couldn't get into that one. But otherwise, it was really good. And Vader to Love You is amazing. Okay. This is one of the cutest things ever. So, you have this couple, and you have this nerdy girl. She's called the Sticky Note Girl because she's just such an ordinary girl, and she lets people walk all over her. And you have this rich guy, and so, like... They end up having a one night stand on a boat and she gets pregnant even though he thinks that she is his girlfriend. Long story. You'll watch it. Or you should watch it anyways. Uh, but yeah, so this is just one of the cute aspects of it. They're talking about baby names and it's just like really super sweet and makes me all happy inside. They, they've got some... I, this is one thing. This drama has some smexy, well not overtly sexual scenes, and I hope, hope, hope that the Korean drama takes advantage of that and does like the really super cute, romantic, sexy scenes. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Korea, do it. Oh. This is part of the reason why I actually watch this drama in Taiwan. I'm, I'm losing my ability to talk. Because Baron Chen is on my computer screen. He hasn't done a lot of dramas, but his role as Dylan, wow. Wow! I was a huge Baron Chen cru uh, fan crush for a long time after that. Because look at him. Look at his face. And let me tell you, he's got a really nice chiseled body too. Muscular arms, cute little tushy. Oh, Baron Chen. And his role. Oh, his role just makes me swoon! This is the Korean version. We get some photos from the new Korean version that's coming out. And he looks like he's got the swagger. He's got all the swagger that he needs to be the jerk. And she makes an exceptionally cute sticky no girl. Very cute. And he is very good looking. Look at his hair. He's got great hair. That's the thing, like, Korean drama guys, they either have great hair or they have terrible hair. And this guy, he's got great hair and good sense of fashion. He's got, he's working the stripes, he's working the khaki, and lime green pocket squares with a emerald green tie, so, schnaz. But I'm really excited to see it. I fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, here's a comparison of the Taiwanese version versus the Korean version. The couples, I believe. Is that the Korean version couple? I'm not sure if it is or not. But right now, my vote's on the Taiwanese version because I don't know how the Korean version can top the Taiwanese version. But I'm gonna have to see. And check it out and decide. Oh, I don't want to watch this. I can't. I, I, I don't want to give you guys too many spoilers. And it's also super cute and romantic. But, oh, this drama. Yeah, that this is not in the drama. What is in the drama? 
So here's, here's, yeah, this is it. So you have, this. she's sitting on an apple, she's like the nerdy girl, and they go on a boat cruise, and they end up naked together, and then you have the whole little baby, ha uh, baby room behind them. That kind of describes the first part of it. More shots of the Korean drama. Again, he's got great fashion. She's really cute for being plain and ordinary. And they look really good together. I just love the original so much. I really do. It's really cute. Skipping, skipping, skipping. Okay, he's... Don't know, don't know, don't know. Ah, there's no more pictures. Crap, on that note. <sighs> Faded to Love You is coming out in Korea. It's one of my favorite dramas of all time. And it's being remade into a Korean drama. And I'm super excited for it. And it's coming out. I heard it was coming out in June, but I believe it's coming out in July, like July 10th. And I'm super excited. Did I say I was excited? I'm excited for this one. And I hope that you guys check it out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, you guys. Bye! And it's like saturated, like deeply saturated and mysterious and like gloomy and awesome. And I can't wait to watch this drama movie because it's a movie, but I usually talk about drama, so I keep saying drama instead of movie. Ah! Stephanie, you need to, like, make the distinction.